Have you ever wondered how daily goods like fruit, toilet paper, and cars find their way to our homes? How wind turbine towers are erected in the middle of nowhere, and how awe-inspiring complex structures like cruise ships or cathedrals are built? Well, the answer is cranes. Why don't we dive deeper into the life of a crane? We might take cranes for granted because the world as we know it wouldn't exist without them. But how do we make these magnificent machines? Let's hear from the expert. There is a well-known joke in the crane world that till gravity exists, we have our jobs. Thanks to gravity, all objects, including the very heavy ones, don't fly on their own. And when we need to move what matters, rolling, pulling and dragging are not always realistic options. Cranes are the best option for moving heavy loads in three dimensions. Very good question. We often see cranes lifting unbelievably heavy objects, but very rarely see a crane that's tipped over. Why is that? Cranes can lift things without falling over due to properly made design. We must always obey physics laws during crane design. And also we must take into account local conditions. So designing a crane is not only about good looks. It's a complex process dictated by factors including the laws of physics, the understanding and execution of innovative technologies, local conditions like wind and temperatures, as well as the function that the crane is needed for. Kona Crane's cranes represent state-of-the-art technology with sophisticated and intelligent solutions that stand for decades of industry leadership. Well, crane at this stage cannot think, but of course there is a safety system on the crane called overload protection. So what happens if I try to lift something that's well over the rated capacity? And this, this system is activated and it, it prevents crane overload and crane collapse. Cranes are manufactured in factories through an industrial process that involves, for example, machining, precision cutting, welding and assembly, with systematic testing performed at every phase. Kone Cranes manufactures cranes by first producing finely crafted components like gears, motors and controls in-house. This is called the core of lifting. These components are designed for crane-specific applications, with precision-cut steel parts assembled into the final crane structure. Kona Cranes also offers custom cranes tailored to specific industries and needs, utilizing standard components in unique ways. I suppose you don't just airdrop them to the right location? Look out below! We are making use of experienced shipping partners who are familiar with such heavy equipment. Depending on the assembling option and location, the cranes are shipped by coastal trading vessels, heavy lift ships or even robo vessels. You almost make it sound too easy, but I guess there's more to it, right? I imagine that the calculations for sea transport are both complex and precise. The transportation of the crane parts do require special equipment uh, due to size and weight of the components. So we do have special haulage trailers like extendables or low bed trailers to transport the heavy equipment from our plant in Düsseldorf to the river port of Düsseldorf. Hang on, what do you mean? They're not transported in one piece? Usually the crane consists of four major parts is the chassis, the superstructure, the tower and the boom. The boom, however, is split into two parts. In general, all large port cranes are erected by using external mobile cranes. The cranes to be assembled and erected are typically delivered as mountable sub-assemblies or mega-blocks, which are then lifted or erected at their final destination. After erection, the final installations, commissioning and testing take place, and then the crane is ready to be handed over. Industrial cranes are installed inside buildings or other facilities, but follow the same principle. Starting with liftings and installations on site, 
then continuing with final details and commissioning. So, now we have the crane on site, but who actually operates it? What's that like? Let's ask a genuine real-life crane operator. First, where are we and what kind of crane do you operate? Me olemme Maier Turun telakalla ja uudemmassa pukkinosturissa tällä hetkellä. Tell us more about these gantry cranes. Tämä on 2017 rakennettu nosturi ja vanhempi nosturi on 70-luvulla valmistunut. Molemmat on käyttökunnossa kuitenkin. What kind of crew is normally needed to operate this Goliath? Viidestä kuuteen on semmoinen normaali vuoroporukka tässä, että kuljettaja plus neljä tai viisi alamiestä. So you're up here and the others are down there. Do you stay up here throughout your shift? Tää me vietetään koko työvuoroaika sitten ohjaamassa ylhäällä. Even if there's a storm? Tää on varmaan yksi turvallisempi paikka siinä vaiheessa, että hukkosen johdattimet hoitaa salamat sit pois. Okay, so work gets done regardless of the weather? Tuuliraja toinasta on niin semmoinen periaatteessa, mikä meitä estää. In fact, when the winds are blowing more than 20 meters per second, the safety systems kick in and the crane stops moving. Safety always comes first. A big machine like a Goliath probably needs a lot of muscle to operate it, right? Pukkinosteri on iso ja hellää. Pehmeästi käsittelee, kun itse käsittelee sitä pehmeästi. Se tekee samalla tavalla, mitä sä kohtelet sitä, niin kaikki toiminnot reagoi siihen. Wow, that sounds precise. A typical crane service routine involves several phases. Inspection and diagnostics, fault identification, repair planning and quoting, part replacement or component repair and ordering new parts, testing, and final reporting. These phases ensure the crane is safe, efficient, and meets operational requirements. These routines are often part of a broader life cycle service program and are designed to minimize unplanned downtime, which can be very costly for customers. It's extremely important to maintain cranes regularly. It's the key to extending their life cycle, which can span decades. The equipment can also be retrofitted and modernized several times during its lifetime. By utilizing real-time data and remote monitoring, we can anticipate component or equipment failure. This way, you optimize maintenance activities, save resources, and reduce emissions. A well-maintained crane is energy efficient and reliable. The life of a crane is filled with hard work and challenging circumstances. Real-time data monitoring, retrofitting and modernizations ensure that our cranes remain capable of handling any given task for decades to come. This is why, in addition to state-of-the-art technology and innovative designs, Conicranes also focuses on circular and sustainable solutions to offer the longest possible life for its cranes. Conicranes moves what matters.